Hi, I'm Tim. And I'm Emma, and we've been at St George's for six years, and we are moving to St Paul's in Shadwell. We decided to move to St Paul's because Dave and Joe stood up at the front of St George's and spoke about a church that was local to us that was in need, and we thought, actually, this could be us. Hi, I'm Ben, and I've been at St George's for about six years. And I'm Jess, and I've been at St George's for five years. And we've decided to move to uh, St Paul's Shadwell, um, for, first and foremost, because we felt called to do that by God. I think most importantly, we wanted to be challenged and stretched. I think um, St George's has equipped us really well for that, and that's why we're excited to get stuck in here. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm the vicar here at St. Paul's in Shadwell. Uh, and uh, St. Paul's is a small uh, declining church that has uh, been struggling for a number of years. Uh, so what we have been doing in the last couple of years is we've been, we, ha we had a year of prayer uh, to seek God and see what he was wanting to do here in Shadwell. Out of that, I uh, went to see Lizzie Wolfe to talk about how St. George's as a resource church could come and partner with us. Uh, in October, uh, uh, Lizzie invited Joe, my wife and I to come and talk at St. George's about the vision that we have here for a new congregation uh, to be planted here in Shadwell and to ask if others from St. George's could come and partner with us. St. George's has equipped us in many ways to serve. We've been leaders of a small group for the last year, and be, having the opportunity to open our homes to people, share a meal and look at the Bible together has been really, really um, exciting and, and a great opportunity for us to kind of learn and grow as leaders. Hey, I've been a member of the worship team at St. George's my whole time we've been there. Um, I started just by playing piano, keyboard, um, and then after a year or two, I was asked if I'd like to have a go at leading worship um, one summer, and that became more and more regular to the point where I was then uh, leading worship with people who were new themselves to it and being able to help people grow in their gifts as well. So I really feel like St George's equipped me um, to move here and to serve here, uh, predominantly by giving me opportunities to, uh, to serve uh, there to, um, to serve the worship team, uh, the youth team, to lead the small groups, to lead a network. Uh, and we were just given an opportunity individually and as a couple to, to be able to make mistakes, to fail and to be supported by, uh, by the community of St George's. I think already in the small ways we've been involved just the past couple of months and um, praying over this church as we've already seen some really great things come from that and we've already seen the spirit moving in this church and that's what we're excited about. Um, we're really looking forward to getting stuck in and, and um, serving the people here, helping, um, just getting alongside people and, and helping those that, that don't know Jesus or don't know Jesus as well to get alongside them and disciple them. This is not about St George's or the diocese forcing uh, one kind of model onto a church. It's about working with uh, a local church community and deciding together uh, what the best way of serving this community and uh, building the, the kingdom of God in this area uh, is going to be.